Hey everybody, what's happening? Son of a Silver Stacker here. In today's numismatic news and information for the 27th day of May 2022, I'd like to welcome you over to Jam Bullion so we can look at the live spot prices. However, before we do that, I'd like to welcome you over to the Friday night auction this evening at 6.30 p.m. Eastern Time and 3.30 Pacific Time. Son of a Silver Stacker, Coins Making Sense, Bassman, and Tiny Numismatics. Bassman may or may not be there. He's out fishing. Isn't that awesome? Doesn't that sound fun? Now let's head over here to Jam Bullion. Gold is up 750 to 1866.69. Silver up 29 cents to 2254. Platinum up six dollars seventy-five cents to 970.39. And palladium is up seventeen dollars eighty-seven cents to 2091.50. Now look at that build. I, maybe it's a little bit of a draw actually. In stock is at 11.45. Now our next stop today is whoops, not that one. I I had market watch up there, but we're not going to do market watch apparently because I've just closed the tab and I wanted to remind you at 8.30 a.m. today, we're going to get a lot of inflation numbers. Now, next stop, numismatic news. And there's an article by Patrick Heller dated May 19, 2022. What will be hot next? And really, it isn't always about what will be hot next, right? Uh, it's sometimes it's about what will be hot um, that's already come out right that you can get at a reasonable price that probably going to go up in value over time right so let's go here this is by patrick heller may 19. many collectors try to figure out what will be the coming hot numismatic items so that they might profit uh, profitably add to their holdings today uh, here are my general observations of factors that will tend to spark increased demand for coins and currency which almost always lead to higher prices now, it says here, whenever a country has implemented a major change in its coin or currency designs, that invariably sparks a surge in collector demand among the many uh, major changes in my lifetime that led to major increases in the number of num uh, numismist numismatists <laughs> were the introduction of the Kennedy silver half dollar in 64 and the start of the U.S. state headquarters in uh, 1999. Now, remember that, right? So let's think about that here in a minute because we had some design changes last year. And uh, we're going to take you to coinnews.net. There's an article by Mike Unser, and I've hit this up in the last couple of days a few times, but it's that juicy. There's so much good stuff here. The title of the article is 2022 Proof Set Near 250,000. That's not the most important thing here. It's the highlighted items here. Look at this. Out of 10 items, right, 10 items here that are listed out of the U.S. Mint's top sellers, one, two, three, four, five of them are from 2021. So if you go back to that article, what's hot next? Well, Looks like people are realizing what was hot last year, and they're buying them up, right? Um, and let's go to um, the date on this. It says May 25, 2022. Let's look at coinnews.net, May 25, 2021. Same guy, Mike Unser, U.S. Mint Sales 2021 clad and silver proof sets lead, right? So they already had their silver proof set out. Uh, and look, only 2020 and 2020S reverse proof. So only two items from 2020, 80% uh, of the items were from 2021. While this year, look at that, 50%, five zero, half of the items that they're selling right now are, well, moving. So what does that tell you about 2022? That there's not much going on this year, right? So people are looking to make um, profits on 22, 2022 items as much as they are 2021 right now, right? So let's take a look at 2021 if we can. Uh, and there's some items you just can't get, right? So the Morgan and Peace dollars, those are done. Uh, the commemoratives, you can't get those. However, if you go here to the American Eagle 2021 one ounce silver proof coin, bam, it says remind me, and that's product 21 EA. And the importance of this one, it is the last last mind you the verse of 86 ever to be made by the united states mint and that was the 2021 type one and also in 2021 they made a type two and that is also on the mint schedule under remind me so i would imagine all of the items that say remind me i would jump on that because let's face it if it is sold out it would probably look a lot like this is right sold out right there so you can't get that that one's a goner but if the other ones say remind me uh, you could possibly get them. Look at the congratulations set from 21. You can't get that, right? So um, that does give us a glimmer, a glimpse of a little bit of hope that we can still get that one out silver proof going. So what I would do is I would that remind me status on that one, emails and um, texts, right? Um, not only that, but I mean, if these are also available, and this is the type one, I don't think these are. These are sold out as well. Um, but the silver, the silver is still available, folks. And uh, it's just one of those things. Um, and look at this. This is, I thought this was pretty wild. Really? You might be able to get this? Yeah, because they didn't hit their mintage limit, right? So they still could have a couple of those floating around. Now look at this. This is the American Eagle. This is the proof. This is the Type 2. 
bam. Yeah, still on remind me status. Product limit 300,000 household order limit of three so if you didn't pick up all three of yours and these do become available you might be able to pick up a couple more and those are very important coins very important coins so like i said i'd go back through the 2021 schedule to see which ones are important from last year because this year seems pretty well i mean if you go through this year here we are um, they have the American Buffalo one ounce gold proof, definitely out of my league. They have the uncirculated coin coming up here in a couple short days. Today's 27th. So we're looking at what next week we have that uncirculated coin coming out June 1st at noon product limit of 160,000 household order limit of three. Well, what's that compare to last year's, right? So last year had a product limit of 175,000 with a household order limit of three also. So we're about 15,000 less this year. And what's interesting about that is that demand is higher. So they've made less. So does that mean that this coin from June 1st release is going to be more um, important than last year's? Probably not. Probably not. But I would say that this one is important because it is the first uh, uncirculated uh, American Eagle out of West Point, New York, that features the the, the well the reverse of 2021 there you go now let's keep on keeping on there's some really interesting things i think andy slingblade uh mentioned this to me and i wanted to hit this up um he's been pushing it for the last couple days and i haven't been ignoring you sir i just wanted to make sure that um i had time to put it in a video and this is it and so this is a really big deal folks so uh, i'm big on the american innovation coins on the reverse proofs the proofs and the clad dollars really really great items here now it says here there's um and what this is, what you're looking at is, is nine different products, right? So there's one there. That's the uh, Trustees Garden from Georgia. That's number two is Jersey. Uh, number three is Pennsylvania. There's four is Delaware. Number five is South Carolina, September Clark. Uh, number six, there's the Hubble Telescope. That's Massachusetts. There's uh, seven. And then eight is the Connecticut Gerber Variable Scale. And then number nine, you're going to get the proof set, reverse proof set of 2021. And what's interesting about this set, if you've been following these American Innovation Coins, is that this was the first year they packaged all four coins in one packaging, right? So these other ones, these other eight here that you see around that one in the lens there, those are going to be individually packaged. And really, those are some of the greatest, most beautiful packaging the Mint has ever done. And they did away with it. Ah, I don't like it. No, I don't. But they could have done more they could have i just maybe there's a paper shortage of just something's going on where they limited the um product packaging on this and i get that save the environment conserve paper you know reuse recycle repurpose i like it i do that myself um but the packaging oh man it was all about that beautiful packaging so anyway getting back to what's going on here so normally if you bought these individually they cost twenty dollars and that's the american innovations from 2019 2020 and 2021 right that's all of the reverse proofs from 2019 through 2021 now it says here this special offer is available only while supplies last and will expire on may 31st 2022 and the interesting thing about this is that the american innovation reverse proof from 2021 with 50,000 units totally available that was their product limit is unavailable as a standalone item the only way that you can get this right now is to buy this bundle yeah and well you get it at a, at a pretty steep discount that's 35 dollars off regular retail price says right there so like i said you get those nine coins you get the reverse proof from delaware pennsylvania new jersey georgia connecticut massachusetts maryland south carolina and the 2021 and like i said that one's sold out well not sold out it's unavailable yeah let's keep on keeping on how many are available there you go 754 of these are available right now let's see if they're They've sold any in between here and there. Yep, they sold one. So interesting for $85. Now, they've also got another bundle. You can save uh, here $83.50 to $58.50. And you're saving there, uh, it says here, $25. And that also is available only till two, Tuesday, May 31st. Now, I would imagine that would be probably midnight. I'm not sure exactly. But listen, you're getting the 18, the 19, the 20, and the 21. That's four years of the American Innovation proof set. Now, each one of them, of these proof sets, they became in a, in a lens, right? And then this one came on its individual coin. 
uh, good stuff here, folks. So I want to thank Andy for bringing this to our attention. This is a really great deal. There is a household order limit of three on each of these. And what's left of this one is 1560. And I'll go ahead and re reload to see if anybody's purchased any. And that is a negator. They have not. Now off to the plus ones today. Whew, thank goodness it's Friday, right? TGIF. Now here we go. If we learn from our mistakes, why are we always so afraid to make them, right? Gosh. Should we be more willing to make mistakes or at least maybe maybe because we don't know how to learn from our mistakes? That's why we are afraid to, to, to um, you know, do they teach you how to learn and grow from your mistakes in school? Do they? Maybe. Or is that something you learn in college? Or is that just something you learn in life in the school of hard knocks? Well, either way, look at this guy here. He's taken or she's taken their mistakes and getting from here to there. They're saying, good thing I have enough mistakes to build a wisdom bridge. That's what he's building there. It's a wisdom bridge because he's learning from the mistakes that they've made to do some growing from to get to here to there. Yeah, that's pretty f amazing. I almost said something salty or frankly, Mr. Shankly kind of thing. So there it is. Uh, now for the other item I wanted to hit you up with. And this one is... Kind of a suspense-filled entrance there. Led Zeppelin, thank you. And it's probably one of the most amazing songs ever, ever made. Um, there it is. And I will leave a link in the description to every single thing I've uh, posted here for the um, the plus ones, as well as the bundles and the coinnews.net articles, as well as the auction tonight. So there you go. Listen, folks, I want to thank you all for watching. Thanks for dropping by. Don't forget to hit that like button. And if you do like what you're hearing, say, please subscribe to the channel. It's free. Son of a silver stacker. Out.